Office workers are grappling with extreme heat during the summer days as the urban heat island effect intensifies within the Taipei Basin. The towering office buildings with minimal spacing in between hinder airflow that could otherwise cool the area. This sometimes results in a 2 degree temperature disparity between the city centers and the parks in adjacent areas. In response to this issue, experts strongly advocate for integrating ventilation corridors into urban planning to establish a better environment. Whether it's in the Spatial Planning Act or in the specifics of municipalities' urban planning, the central government should provide clarity regarding the regulations of wind rights. Subsequently, the local government can proceed in alignment with the wind direction or the designs of the ventilation corridors. In Taipei's Nangang district, Local magistrates have initiated plans for the implementation of such ventilation corridors. This involves ensuring that many high-rises are spaced no less than 6 meters apart and positioned at a minimum distance of 4 meters from the road to enhance air circulation. Regions with dense populations, such as Japan, Germany and Hong Kong, have already enforced regulations to restrict the widths of structures for similar reasons. Considering the plot ratio, most construction companies aim to maximize building capacity. Consequently, if buildings reach a certain height, they can obstruct the wind flow. Indeed, adjustments are necessary during the area's development phase. As global temperatures continue to surge due to climate change, the strategic planting of more trees within city centers proves to be an additional measure in reducing the heat. To avert the worsening of the environmental temperature, governments must give heightened attention to urban planning to evade heat island effects. Liu Yanshen, Li Huanglong, Yan Rui Shen, Vivian Shao, TVBS World Taiwan.